Okay, picking back up here, just to no crosswalk here. It's a family development, so God, no crosswalk provided for the families here over the shopping plaza. And then we can obviously see from this overgrowth here, there's no curbs or sidewalks. There's no curbs or sidewalks over there conducive for. That's one of them. That's a modified truck. That's the reason. That's one of the many reasons uh, of the people that are getting away with this. So that uh, there is no crosswalks where I just uh, was talking on family when I stopped pausing. I crossed over from the uh, a father and three kids over to uh, Summit Gardens over there. Uh, that would impede the way of life for the modified vehicles. And so evidently the mayor, city council... Uh, drop the standards of safety, uh, which is paramount always, as always mentioned, sub supersedes power and money, uh, in order for the modified vehicles and uh, the people performing them to have their way. Then, uh, I guess the next great question would be, how come, uh, or how much are they receiving, and who's giving it to them? And that would come into so there should be uh, sidewalks here. This is um, uh, several instances of which I crossed yesterday uh, while filming. I couldn't. Uh, well, I, the grass it was extremely high because it wasn't maintained. Uh, so, in order to have a passageway for safety as far as the pedestrians. It would have to be maintained by a city maintenance crew. Which brings us to another question. Where does the budgeting go? Who's receiving uh, the contracts to... Uh, notice any yellow lines on this street? So that might work for... Uh, people with uh, better eyesight uh, not requiring glasses or having any issues with night blindness or living, having, being residents here knowing the roads better. But if someone from outside this area would have come visit, uh, let's see how many street lights. None. No street lights, uh, and we'll come up and get this road here in a second. This is the back side of the uh, shopping plaza, which I filmed yesterday. So, uh, no lines on the streets. This immediately leads out to U.S. Business 6 East or West. U.S. Business 6 ends up in the Main Street Carbonell, U.S. Business West, right, ends up into uh, Childs, Mayfield, Einan, Dixon City, Scranton, Wilkesbury. So, uh, of important significance is uh, the markings, and these roads should be maintained. Uh, there should be pedestrian crosswalks for safety. Uh, there should be curbs. Obviously, there's not. That's why. Probably take a good tumble if I try walking. Now, the only uh, partitions or areas that are uh, cultivated a little bit or uh, maintained are obviously by the businesses. So 
It's a three-way stop. Again, we have not encountered a street light uh, for back here. No street lights, no curbs. Uh, this goes up and around to other sections of Carbonell. Uh, this proceeds to go into the city. It is assured, not too long ago, all of these uh, projects, uh, possibly not the street lights, uh, but the lines were definitively in, and the uh, care and access of uh, pedestrian points, uh, cur or crosswalks were in place, and uh, This is uh, the entrance or exit, depending upon, into from out here, access point. No curbs. Uh, this is a business over here to the right, dentist. Uh, his uh, parking lot is immaculate, painted, uh, retarded. This is uh, right, uh, asphalt redone with tar. Um, that's a manufacturing plant. Not even yellow lines. Not even, oh, oh, okay, here we begin. All right, so it, uh, curb access for uh, pedestrians begins here, officially. Uh, that is cultivated, maintained, looks pretty, the property of Hendricks, but there is no curbs there. So the access from the shopping plaza and from all the walking I've done thus far uh, led to here as far as a curb. Maintain, uh, this is still the grass, I would say is property maintained by uh, Hendrix Manufacturing. Again, we see no, uh, nothing indicating um, <clears throat> And perhaps as stated, uh, if you live here long enough uh, and you don't have poor, uh, limited eyesight or night blindness, uh, you'd be fine to drive these roads. Uh, but I dare say if you struggled with, if needed glasses, uh, night blindness or unfamiliarity with uh, the area, I would dare say this is extremely tough to drive on uh, because it's not marked. There's nothing indicating uh, lawful Directional institu instituted uh, uh, requirements by uh, federal north north state government. Uh, again, perhaps here we come up to the railroad crossway where they do have uh, the arms that come down. Uh, not to say I've seen them myself, whether they're operational or not, but we can obviously tell. Uh, aside from the railroad crossing sign. there and the blinking lights are uh, let's assume that they work uh, that uh, that's what is all that is for there would be the stop line uh, this at the uh, railroad crossing for traffic uh, we're not seeing that they maintain that Complacency of uh, safety is unexcusable. Uh, dereliction of duty, uh, treachery to your people, an embarrassment for your city. But overall, the safety of all is uh, uh, what we would what we would like to imagine would would at least be the basis 
would at least be the basis of which the measurement of a standard, uh, the most minimal standard, is the people that provided safety. But as we see, and uh, yesterday there was filming this way. Uh, this is where one of the four ways met up. Uh, where showing that it's not just uh, absolutely no uh, no uh, crosswalks in place and just say uh, at city lights with uh, traffic signals but nowhere nowhere anywhere uh, and as we found out there was only one location which is the YMCA uh, ironically, uh, having that, and then we've seen a posted plastic sign for uh, Gabriel Funeral Home, and then not too far down, we've seen we've seen uh, Scott's Funeral Home not have one. What's up, bro? All right. Crossing over here, come up to this four-way I filmed yesterday, where there is no crosswalks for the people, and the poor status of the roads uh, for the driver. Here I will stop and pick up uh, for more uh, stop signs and crosswalks where they're in, where they're in place, and where they're not.